dinner time. Cheers. It is hump day. It's Wednesday. I have a glass of wine. Um, so tonight we are going to be making um, bow tie pasta in a um, red sauce. So I have my water boiling over here already. Uh, I'm going to salt it like the sea. My one chance to season my water. And I have the Checo Farfalle, which is bow tie pasta. This is very rare for me to be eating bow tie pasta. It kind of brings me back to um, uh, my childhood days when my mom made bow tie pasta. That's where this inspiration comes from. We're going to drop it in. The box says 13 minutes. I'm going to cook it for nine. So I'm going to set my timer for nine. Um, always cook your pasta under, right? Because you're gonna continue cooking it right over here, which means we have about nine minutes to make our sauce. So let's get going. So um, I have a Dutch oven going here, pretty large because I wanna be sure I'm gonna put my pasta in here. So I wanna have a lot of room for it to absorb what's happening. Um, I am going to add in one diced onion. I diced this before we started the live. You guys should um, hopefully know how to dice an onion if you're watching this. I know. Some people might not. So, um, okay, so we are adding that in. We wanna turn this up a little bit. When you first drop your pasta, make sure you guys are stirring it around um, because the starches are gonna make it stick. Never add oil to your pasta, ever, ever, ever. We want that starch. Um, so we're gonna bring that up to a boil. Uh, we're gonna season our onions just a little bit. You guys are gonna notice when I'm making pasta, I really don't season the sauce that heavily because tomatoes are naturally sweet. So um, if we season it too much, the saltiness is gonna make our tomatoes kind of bitter and that might be like that tin flavor that you're getting with your sauce sometimes. So we're gonna turn this up a little bit. And if anyone watched my um, fry bread taco video last night, I um, actually used some of this jar of muti passata and we're gonna finish this jar off today. So this recipe has Let's see, pasta, onion, passata, peas, and cream in it. That is it, it's very simple. Um, that's really all you need in a nice nice glass of wine. So, so we're gonna saute our onions until they're translucent. Get that heat going. All right. We have seven minutes to go. Um, so by the way, let's talk about what Posada is. Um, this brand is amazing, first of all, Muti. It's my favorite brand, um, it's made in Italy. Um, Posada is actual tomato puree. So the seeds inside the um, tomatoes come, get out, get removed because they cause bitterness. So you pretty much take them all out. This is a really easy way to do it. Normally you would put it into a food mill, um, but you can also just buy it, which is, which is great, which is, what I prefer to do. Smells delicious. Our onions are looking really nice. We want this passata to really cook down, so I'm gonna add it. What's nice about buying it already, too, is that it already is pretty thick, and that's what we're going for. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this jar because there's too much goodness left in here. I'm gonna shake it around, so wait for me. Oh, here we go again. Cameraman helping me out. Give it a shake, don't waste that. A little water is never gonna hurt your sauce. And clean out that jar. While this is coming up, we're gonna add in our peas. It's about a cup and a half of peas. I just had them in the freezer. Um, pasta and peas, total comfort for me. Um, I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil and kind of meld all of these delicious flavors together. And when our pasta is done and everything is cooked down a little bit, that's when we're gonna kind of reconstitute the sauce with some cream. What happens here also with the sauce is we're not gonna really add too, too much pasta water because we're looking to get a really concentrated tomato sauce. This looks really nice. Ooh, we have some stuff going on here. Splattering of tomatoes, that is what we want. Two minutes on our pasta, we're getting close. How long do you cook the sauce? 
Well, um, you cook the sauce as long as you cook the pasta for. So, I normally, I mean, you could cook it a little longer if you really wanted to reduce, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna cook it kind of quickly. Sorry guys, cameraman's not asking Do me. you see the crew chew ever? Oh, like the hosts? Yeah, I do. Um, I see Simon a good amount. Ooh, timer. I see Simon a good amount at Food Network because we both do lives and I culinary produced him a few times, which is really fun. Um, Carla, I see a little bit. Um, Clinton, we chat, so we get to catch up a bit. Um, Daphne, I have not seen, but I know she's doing great things, so. B. Joy says, turn the heat down. <laughs> oh, on the sauce. I'm the splattering. Oh, B. B, B Joy, you are so right to turn the heat down. But, yeah, you know, I'm Captain trying. Captain Obvious. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just. I'm just trying to, you know, get this get this video done here. All right, so timer went off for the pasta. So let's burn our faces off together and taste the bow tie. Doesn't really look done, so I'm gonna put, put it back on. I could just tell by the feeling of it. Just keeping an eye on the sweatshirt. Cameraman has a very nice sweatshirt on. It's a very nice color, and I don't want it to splatter on that. No, be good. Oh, really? Another 30 seconds on that. So let's give it a stir. Now you can see there's still a good amount of um, liquid in here, a good amount of water. So if you want, I would say if you're doing this at home and you have a little more time, reduce this down a little lower and slower. Don't splatter all over your stove for about 15, 20 minutes until it's kind of like right before you've reached tomato paste, right? You want it a little thicker than this, but I like it really saucy, so I'm not upset about it. So we're gonna take our heavy cream. We're gonna add in, not too, too much, about a quarter cup. I like it to be more like a light pinkish type of color. Nothing crazy. That looks pretty delicious though. Are you guys excited about that? No, you're not. Oh, cameraman's not excited about it at all. That's, a, that's great. It must really suck living, being quarantined with me. Yum. Okay, so time to drain our pasta and dump it into this. So I'm gonna keep the heat on this, I just turned it off. If you don't have yourself a pasta insert, guys, get it. Again, I don't want a lot of that water, so I'm gonna drain this out. Beautiful. Never rinse your pasta. You rinse off all the amazing starch. Don't do that. And into the boat they go. Did I lose any? Leave any? Yes. Okay. So last but not least, this is the best part. We are gonna stir all of this together. We wanna coat it. We wanna release the pasta starches. We want it to just kind of marry with the sauce and it kind of thickens up as it's cooking down a little bit. And this is why we cook the pasta short the time it says in the box, because I have it on the heat on low right now, but it's gonna absorb that sauce and it's going to continue to cook and to finish in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn the heat off. And now I'm going to what are you saying? Time? What are you saying? How long did it take? <laughs> I said it probably took us about 10 minutes. Are you paying attention, cameraman? Clearly not. So I'm gonna plate up myself up some. <laughs> oh wait, I need cheese. So you don't have to follow me if you don't want to. You can you wanna hold that for me? No. Okay. <laughs> Looks like cameraman's taking a bite. Maybe he'll give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So we're gonna add a little bit of cheese, or a lot, whatever you prefer. And we're gonna take a bite. And I have to tell you that entire pot of pasta is probably gonna be gone. So this is delicious, brings me right back to childhood. Um, but listen, I know we're all busy um, being at home and everything. I certainly have time to make a 10 minute meal. I know you guys do. You probably have all these things in your pantry. Uh, thank you so much for joining me at dinner time and I'll see you guys tomorrow.